Goddamn bathtub gin. The man's fiance leaves him for another bloke. You'd hope he could at least get some decent liquor. Sam Joel, expert salesman. <laughs> Look at me. I couldn't afford a ring, a check. Oh. Jack could afford a ring. <sighs> he could afford a ring for every finger. <sighs> How about you give me something top shelf? Everyone has debts. Some bigger than most, yeah. Mine, definitely bigger than most, but. Annie wasn't that type of girl. Maybe you talk too much, kid. Really, I thought she wasn't that kind of girl. You'll find that people are rarely what they seem. You lose your girl, too. Oh, I know a lot about heartbreak. Like how it burns inside your guts like gunfire. Your hands get cold. Your throat gets scratchy like daddy's old records. You close your eyes and you see her touching his cheek when he picks her up in that fancy new car. And she's wearing the dress that you bought her. <laughs> I wonder... Will he kiss her inner wrist? God, I hope Jack crashes that expensive new car. I hope he drives it off a cliff. I hope he wraps it around a tree. And I hope they both burn in hell forever. That can be arranged. Excuse me. All I need is a signature. <laughs> a signature? In blood. What? Ink's not good enough for you? <laughs> I just need something a little bit more personal, so. You know, I don't think I caught your name, sir. You don't recognize me? A church going pastor's son like you, Sam? Or is it Charlie? You're not going by Clarence again, are you? That name does not suit you. And neither does the honest life, it seems. You're good for one thing and one thing only, sweetheart, and that's running away from the people you owe money to. Well, your services aren't required, thanks. Why not? Drinker, gambler, card sharp, murderer. So is mine in the end, Sam, and we both know it. So why not get something you want out of the bargain, hmm? It's only fair. Just a signature. Cross my heart. Flint. Almost there. Hey. <laughs> Barman, another round for my friend.
<laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Been waiting a long time for this. Russell. Samuel? I expected you years ago. Lost your trail around Louisiana, but I never stopped looking. I used to lay awake at night, terrified someone was gonna find you before I could. Look, it was self-defense, Russell. Your brother had a knife. You stole his girl, and then you killed him. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Poor boy practically begged me to take his soul. He was looking for you in New Orleans of all places. Although I think, in the end, you got the better bargain. You won't have enough time to regret the decision. Most people do. 